Let's eat some prawns. <laughs> so these are live prawns. Look at that. They were much livelier before when I first got them. They've been out of the water for about 10 minutes now, and I think they are just slowing down and they're probably going to die soon. These are saltwater prawns, and so I don't have any saltwater and I don't want to make any, but for the most part, they were kicking around like crazy earlier. But they are still super fresh and we're just gonna boil them up right now. Half of them are going to be boiled in just water and then the other half, I'm gonna throw in this. The Cameron Seafood Crab Seasoning. It's meant for crabs, but I'm sure it'll be really good with shrimp also. So let's give it a try. All right, so I don't have a whole lot of time to play with, so I don't want to get a fire going or anything like that. So I'm just going to use my Blue Eddy power station to power this pot right here. It's an electric sort of pot. And so all I do is I just plug it in like that and just turn on the AC 200 Max on. AC power, turn it on. And this is on. Let's just some pour some water in. And once the water is hot enough and once it start rolling into a boil, I'm gonna toss the shrimp in. We're at a nice rolling boil. Just tossing them in. And you will notice that they'll cook incredibly fast. All right. So I'm gonna take three of them out to eat plain. I'm gonna pour in some of the crab seasoning and let it kind of simmer in here. Turning down the heat now. All right, this looks like it's good. Taking this out. And I'm gonna to top it up with some more. There you go, shake it around. All right, so we have both of them here. This right here is just boiled and just taken out. This has the crab seasoning on it from Cameron Seafood. So let's try this first. We'll pull off the head. Mm. Ooh, wow. Oh my God. It's so sweet. Wow, the meat is so sweet. Holy crap. Okay. Let's peel all of this. And here's the meat. There's not a whole ton of meat, but Mm. Oh my God, holy crap, that's good. Like the meat is so sweet. And you just eat all of that. Mm. The juices, everything. It's this like really natural sweetness. That's amazing. <laughs> mm. That's some fresh shrimp, prawns. These are ridiculously expensive also. These live saltwater prawns cost $38 a pound. I only bought like a quarter pound. <laughs> All right, so you have this right here. This is with the Cameron Seafood uh, seasoning. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. So. The seasoning is slightly too salty for me right now because I think I put too much, but it actually brings out the sweetness of the meat. And the, um, the spices though, really complements the meat. Yeah, this is amazing. I think these prawns would actually be edible raw because these are saltwater prawns. You can basically fillet them while they're alive, deshell them and everything, and you'll just eat the body. And the head, you take it and you deep fry it in like a light batter. I've eaten it in like sushi restaurants and stuff like that before. They call it like sweet shrimp with head or ama ebi or something like that. Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> so expensive though. All right, that's it. Just a real quick video of these live saltwater uh, prawns. <laughs> I keep trying to say shrimp, but yeah, these aren't shrimp, these are prawns. I have several more of them in the fridge right now in a bag, and I might actually take them and use them as bait for like catfish or for bass and stuff like that. I don't know how effective they are going to be because they're 
probably dead by now in the fridge. I think I could still get some action from them by like hooking them on the tail and like tugging on the, the line and stuff. So I'm not really sure. So I've seen other people use like crawfish and stuff like that as uh, as like rock bass bait and stuff like that and so i might give it a try i might go to like uh, the river and see if i can catch like some catfish or bass yeah that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video please smash that like button consider subscribing and i'll see you next time peace out